Yeah, I'm Tamaki.、Uh, I came from Japan.、Uh, I just got here two days ago, so I'm feeling still <laughs> jet lag, <laughs> but I'll do my best here.、Um, I'm so happy to be here because my, this is my second time coming, from, coming to NFT New York City. And you know, I was like the audience, like looking at the speakers. So I'm really like, honored to be here. So,、um, before talking about you know, the crypto base that I、uh, run, which is the Japanese. Japan's crypto co working hub、uh, based in Tokyo. But let me like, share some of the you know, recent、uh, crypto community、uh, in Japan. So, Japan used to be a frontier of、um, blockchain industry, as you might know.、Uh, Mangox has,、uh, was based in Japan and also Coincheck as well. But as we all know, you know, the incident happened at the both c o m p a n y back in、uh, 2014, around 2014. Um, Japanese government was very skeptical about、uh, you know, uh, crypto. So since then,、um, they strengthened the regulations. For example,、uh, we have to, they tax us、uh, 50% or based on evaluated、um, assets that, that the company has, which means that you cannot really、uh, fundraise with token, right? <laughs> Even if you don't have cash in your company,、uh, you have to pay the tax so you can go bankrupt, right? And other thing is,、um, we cannot really do investment DAO. Security、uh, law related to security is really, really、um, uh, strict in Japan. And yeah, that's pretty much、um, the circumstances for Japan. So、uh, it's not the best circumstances for founders. But、um, it, talking about positive side, though,、uh, it helped、uh, to protect the customers. Uh, when FTX you know, incident happened,、uh, you know, those Japanese,、uh, well, uh, they had a corporate,、uh, sub, sub corporate like in Japan. And with Japanese law, the corporate has to separate the customer asset and also、uh, company asset so that、um, you know, people、like、who were using FTX didn't have to lose their asset. So it's the, maybe we, c- we can say that it's the best place for customer side, but it's not the best place for founder side. So last, with, within the last、uh, eight years,、uh, all the founders who wanted to、um, engage with crypto p r o j e c t actually moved to Singapore or the States.、Uh, they got out of Japan. <laughs> yeah. But interestingly,、uh, recently the government, the Japanese government, sees the possibility in crypto space. So, Um, they actually published the white paper to change the law、uh, a couple of weeks ago, which is uh, really uh, good news for you know, founders who want to do the you know, crypto、uh, project in Japan. And I actually launched a crypto based on、uh, last year. That time was not really the best timing because you know, FTX happened and all that. But right now,、um, East Tokyo is happening、uh, this week in Japan. And also, the government has published a white paper, as I said last week. So,、uh, there are a lot of like,、uh, positive things、uh, going on for、uh, crypto space. So, we are really like, hap-、uh, happy to、um, see you know,、um, increasing and rising up the community, crypto community in Japan. So, if you're looking、uh, for an you know, opportunity, like you know, coming to Japan, or、uh, if you want to have like, a project, like, Uh, to do in Japan, we are happy to help you because we have the hub. So, this is a place where we provide like, w- workspace and also events. So, we have like more than 500 people that、like, come coming in and go every month. And also, we have like VCs, VCs based in Japan and founders and developers and all that. And also, not only Web3 players,、uh, Web2. Uh, companies and also like local governments are really like interested in eg- engaging in blockchain because they, we have、um, a lot of successful、um, use cases of like revitalizing、uh, countryside or you know like asset, utilizing the asset to generate、um, you know like sales for to, to support the locals and things like that. So the government is really、um, engaging in、uh, crypto space. So that's a good sign. And let me introduce、um, other projects that I do. So you, you might know about Geisha.、Um, that's the, one of the culture in Japan. You know, women in, with、uh, white makeup and they're in traditional、um, Japanese, you know, like kimono. But the COVID really like, hit them so hard because their job was to serve you know, drinks. At the drinking party, and it's kind of like outdated. And also,、um, COVID was really like restricting those you know, drinking p a r t y right? From like people having it. So,、uh, 
we are trying to like find a way to uh, support them, support the culture. And we found like NFT could be a way for them to uh, support and also sustain their culture too. So we are working on to have like membership only to Japanese tea house where those members can access to have a tea with Geisha and also like see their performances. I've done actually um, online courses where like um, people can have a chat with Geisha and people loved it. And they were saying like, oh, is there any way that they can support um, besides, you know, paying just for, you know, online courses. And we didn't have a way that time, but NFT could be a way because that's like where uh, community, all the community starts. So we are working on it like to launch next month. So yeah, I think like NFT, it's not like about just, you know, it's floor price like going up and down. It could be a new way to uh, sustain like other cultures or other like, you know, contributing to uh, do something social good too. So we are happy to like, I'm, ha I'm here to learn more about like use cases of, of a new way of like NFTs. And also uh, I'm happy to see a lot of like use cases like in, in crypto base too, too. So if you're like interested in coming to Japan or uh, my project, like we are happy to like connect. Thank you.